Valentine's Day, it's almost here, and I'm so excited to show you guys how to make a delicious strawberry crunch cheesecake. It's such a good recipe, it's perfect for your significant other or for that special person in your life. So if you guys wanna see how I make it, keep watching. We're gonna start off by making the mixture for the cheesecake. I'm gonna add 16 ounces of cream cheese, one third cup of sour cream, one can of sweetened condensed milk, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, add two eggs, and we mix until smooth. Once it's smooth like this, I'm gonna add eight ounces of this 12 ounce jar of strawberry topping. And we continue mixing. Okay, it's now done, and I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Now I'm gonna grease my baking pan. Add crescent dough. Make sure to even it out. We add the mixture. Another crescent dough on top, and we're gonna also add a little bit of cooking spray. And it's ready to go in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes at 350 degrees. While we're waiting on the cheesecake to bake, I'm gonna start preparing the strawberry crunch, and I'm gonna be using one package of golden Oreos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the cookie up and remove the filling, because the only part we're using is the cookie part, not the filling. So we keep doing the same for the whole package. Once all the cookies are separated, we're gonna start breaking them down. Once it looks like this, we're gonna add three ounces of strawberry jello mix, and one stick of melted butter and we mix it. Once well combined, we set it to the side and start working on our frosting. For the frosting, I'm gonna be using half a cup of heavy whipping cream, along with four ounces of cream cheese and one fourth cup of powdered sugar. And now we mix until fluffy. Once your frosting looks fluffy like this, it's ready. It's been about 50 minutes and our cheesecake is ready. And we're gonna let it cool off for about an hour. Once the cake has cooled off, we're gonna add the frosting. It's nicely spread and I'm gonna add the strawberry crunch. Put it in the fridge for at least four hours or you can even leave it overnight. It's been about four hours and I'm gonna cut myself a piece. And there you have a delicious strawberry crunch cheesecake. All right guys, moment of truth. This is perfect for Valentine's, cheers. It's so delicious. It's creamy and then the crunch just goes perfect with it. And it's not too sweet, it's the perfect amount of sweetness. So if you guys haven't made it, you should definitely make it. All right guys, that's it for this one. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you won't miss any of our new videos. I'll see you guys next time, bye.